Well, the police typically, especially during the Olympics, are not arresting anyone for possessing marijuana. Th that would be the normal case. You could smoke it in a park, you could smoke it on the street, and many do, and you can consume it in here, in this our facility. So yes, you could do that. But of course, if the policeman saw you smoking, he still has the right to search you. Typically, the athletes in the past I've seen were always in the powerlifting, weightlifting, wrestling. Uh, the extreme sports, snowboard is very common, skateboarders. These kind of uh, fields of endeavor have a lot of pot smokers in them. And that's the reason being is they all get injured a lot. And any sport where they're getting injured frequently, you'll find that they use the marijuana because it allows them to focus on the job at hand without thinking about their injuries. Uh, wrestlers especially are people who have gotten stretched muscles. You know, The marijuana allows you to relax and also focus on the task at hand. And it's, found, it's very successful at, a, I think, enhancing ability in previous Olympics as well as a lot of championship sport. And I know this because I edited Cannabis Culture magazine and I had writers who were famous professional athletes and they would write that it helps them out. And then we see Michael Phelps is a marijuana smoker as well as Russ Ro Rossenberg. But they don't come here because the paparazzi would chew them up. Everybody has a camera and I don't know even if can polite Canadians who generally do not get awestruck by famous people would be able to resist in this environment taking a picture of someone smoking. <laughs> When you come in here for a $5 donation, you can use our office space, which uh, includes our volcanoes, our pipes, our bongs, etc., as well as a lot of different information you can use to learn, our pamphlets and uh, access to websites. We have Wi-Fi here and uh, educational videos for people, as well as we as employees do our best to educate people uh, about how to get high safely using the volcano and uh, the whole history of prohibition in North America. How has business been since the Olympics? Uh, very brisk. A lot of a lot of extra business. We've been up to a uh, three-hour waiting list at the night at our worst. Uh, well, our best, I guess, but um, not so good for people that are waiting. But uh, we've been having a waiting list that long. We only have 13 tables here, so we've been having quite the extra business coming through.